thank, thank you, the rapporteurs, uh, for the report highlighting the human rights situation and the increasing flaws in Turkey's democracy. I hope the Assembly will also adopt the amendments proposed by me and myself and colleagues in order to provide a fuller image uh, for those governing uh, Turkey. Everybody in this hemicycle, including the ruling AKP deputies, are well aware that things are not going well in Turkey. The atmosphere of optimism and hope for a peaceful solution of the Kurdish question, for inclusion of the neglected groups in the social and political system, for a broader democracy which overhauled the assembly during the last debate on Turkey in 2013 is bygone. To repeat the official figures released by the Turkish government and military and human rights bodies, only between July 2015 and this day, some 500 civilians, some 450 security officers, and at least 6,000 Kurdish militants have been killed with arms, including tanks, heavy artillery, and fighter jets. And at least 1.6 million people have suffered from months-long round-the-clock curfews, at least three 155,000 persons were displaced, the number of those incarcerated under the vaguely constructed anti-terrorism laws have exceeded 2,000. What happened? What changed in the three years past? The real, uh, I hear some colleagues here saying that Turkey remained in crossfire between the Daesh and the PKK. That's why. Could this really explain why I and our HDP colleagues are stripped of our parliamentary immunities, why journalists are jailed every day, why civilians are indiscriminately killed. The real reason is somewhere else. The real reason is that the peace talks between the Kurdish political movement and the Turkish government was suspended in April 2015 uh, by the Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan and the road for a peaceful solution was declared closed. We all remember the phrase, there is no Kurdish question as such. This brought Turkey back to pre-2013 conditions, that is, resumption of the armed conflict. It is open and clear that the HDP is categorically against violence. I repeat, against violence. We are fighting to create the necessary conditions for a resumption of negotiations for a peaceful solution. We are ready to pay any price for that, including being awarded by lies and slanders by our rivals. Thank you.